Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film a Friday Reads. I know, like that never happens. And in the interest of full disclosure, it's not Friday. No, it's Thursday, <laughs> but this is the only time I have to film this. Um, so you're getting it on Friday, but I am filming it on Thursday. But that doesn't matter. Let's just talk about what books I've read in the past weeks and what books I'm thinking of reading or hoping to get read in the next week and most specifically by the end of March. So I've only finished two books <laughs> since March 16th and one of those is a booktube prize book, um, A Promised Land by Barack Obama. I'm reading this for the nonfiction uh, round, uh, first round of the booktube prize so I can't talk about that. Finish that one. And then I finished an audio book of a fantasy novel called *The House on the Cerulean*, sea, *The House in the Cerulean Sea* by T.J. Klune, which has been all over BookTube, and I picked it up on audio, and it was delightful. It was delightful. It is a story of a man who works for a government agency that is in charge of um, basically assessing the runnings of orphanages. <laughs> for the housing of magical children. Um, and he gets sent on a assignment to assess this orphanage in this house on this, in the Cerulean Sea. Um, and nothing is as it appears when he gets there. So it's all about found family. It's all about not, um, not taking somebody for the first thing that you see when you see them to look beyond how people appear and to see inside them and see their humanity and see the good inside of everyone. And it is such a feel good novel. Um, if you want to feel good about the world, please read The House in the Cerulean Sea. It is not, you know, high literature, right? It is a feel good novel. It is a fantasy novel. It is whimsical. It is just charming and delightful. Um, the baddies are bad and the good people are good. And our main character is just, uh, I just love him so much. He's so wonderful. Um, I could cry just talking about it right now. It just hit me like that. You know, it just hit me right in the feels. So I would highly recommend The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. And I will also say that the audiobook was very well done. I didn't read it in print, so I can't speak to that. But I thought the audiobook was really well done. And I read that um, through Libro FM, which is a wonderful app. So what would I like to finish by um, the end of March? I am feeling really discouraged at myself, Real, not discouraged, discouraged is the wrong word. I'm feeling a little bit sad that I haven't made much progress on my, what I wanted to read in March, but it's March. I got distracted by college basketball. I am going to be scrapbooking this weekend with my mom and my aunt and my daughter. So not much reading is going to get done, but that still does leave me three days um, at the beginning of next week. So what do I want to work on? I would like to finish this graphic novel, Paying the Land. I think I'm three chapters into it. And I just want to say, this is a this is a uh, graphic non piece of nonfiction about um, indigenous uh, communities in Northern Canada. And the artwork in this book, I cannot even tell you. I was not expecting the beauty of the artwork in this book. Look at that drawing of that moose. I mean... I, like every page is just stunning. This page here of the beaver. I mean, I cannot, and the people, the way that the people are drawn is just, it's just stunning. So um, Joe Sacco is the author and I don't know, does he draw it himself too? It doesn't have an illustrator, so he must draw it himself as well. Um, and it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous book. So I'm hoping to finish that one. Um, by Wednesday. I, I will be finishing that one by Wednesday. I have also, from my ancient TBR, I have four books left. I've only read two books off the ancient TBR. And if you remember correctly, if you've been playing along, I wanted to read six or at least try them and decide if I wanted to keep them or not um, off my ancient TBR every month. So two have already been read, completed. I have started this mystery novel. This is Behind the Shattered Glass by Tasha Alexander. This is a Lady Emily mystery. So this is a historical mystery. Um, and 
I read the first chapter and really enjoyed it. So I'm going to continue on with this one. Um, this is like book seven or something in the series. And it's an, it's an ARC copy that I won off of um, library thing, I think, in like 2013. And I never read it. Bad. Bad Heidi. Um, but I do enjoy these historical mysteries. I just haven't read one in ages. And I think when I won this, I was earlier on in the series and I needed to read a bunch in the middle to catch up. But this one does take place, some of these take place in other European countries, but this one does take place at an English country home. So going to be reading that one. I may not finish it by the end of March, but I'm going to continue on with it. I want to read The Vanishing Act of Esme Lennox by Maggie O'Farrell for the Irish Readathon. Um, and I just picked this up and I read the first couple of pages. I have no idea. Like I did not read far enough into it to even know whether or not it's a book I'm going to like or not. So I'm going to continue on with that. And then for Women's History Month, I picked up this book off my ancient TBR. This is The Women's Room by Marilyn French. I think I did a try a chapter tag with this book years ago and liked it. Um, yes, yeah, so I have a bookmark in here. Um, I think I just stuffed that bookmark in there. But no, this bookmark is on chapter five. So maybe that's how much I read. I have no idea. I'm going to start from the beginning because I don't remember. Um, and this is a biting social commentary on an emotional word, world gone silently haywire. The Woman's Room was in its time a modern allegorical novel that offered piercing insight into the social norms accepted so blindly and revered so completely. So women's equality, women's rights kind of a thing. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. And then this is What She Knew by Jilly or Gilly. Jilly. I would suppose that's Jilly. Jilly McMillan. This is a mystery. Um, I picked this up at a church yard sale for a quarter. So if I read the first chapter and it's just not for me, I'm not going to feel bad about letting this one go. So I don't know. But that's what's left from my TBR for the month of March. We'll see what I get completed next week. This is Heidi a little bit later because I forgot to mention one other book that I am currently reading and will be finishing this weekend. And that is, of course, Ecology of a Cracker Childhood by Janice Ray, which is the Book Naturalist Book Club pick for the month of March. And um, we will be chatting about the second half of the book on Saturday. And I forgot to mention it, but I am I have probably about, I don't know, like 70 pages left in this book. So I'll probably finish it tonight. Just wanted to mention this one. Um, I don't have <laughs> high hopes to finish uh, more than the graphic novel and maybe one other book, but I would like at least like to try the first couple chapters of each of those and see if I want to keep them or not. Um, so that's my goal. So I will be back with you hopefully next weekend. Oh, not this weekend, but next weekend and let you know how I did. I hope you're all doing well and finding some great books to read and I will talk to you later.